The digital oil field market is projected to reach $3.5 billion by 2023, an annual growth rate of 4.6%. Artificial intelligence, big data, cloud-based systems, the Internet of Things, and other technologies enable cost reductions through intelligent maintenance, workflow automation, better labor utilization and production, reservoir and drilling optimization. Disruptive technologies have already been put into action in Africa. Algeria's Sonatrack identified automation and AI as a key focus of its 2030 strategy. Crusade Logistics in South Africa uses drones to improve safety and fuel efficiency of fuel hauling trucks. Nigeria's NNPC is now automating its crude supply and marketing operations. Digitalization is particularly relevant to Africa's oil and gas sector, where 30% of production is derived from legacy fields and where assets risk becoming obsolete without new technology being used. Nigeria is a strong candidate for upgrading existing infrastructure using digital automation, with its Port Harcourt refinery running at 10% of a 150,000 barrels per day capacity due to lack of maintenance and inaccurate forecasts. With some of Africa's leading oil producers facing declining production rates at mature fields, significant potential lies in enhanced oil recovery technologies. The EOR market could exceed $140 billion by 2024, with Algeria, Egypt and Nigeria representing key growth areas. 4D seismic monitoring also enables operators to increase recovery rates by 40% and boost upstream revenue by 5%. Smart drilling increases profitability by reducing the number of wells drilled and the time to drill a new well by 33%. Shell, for example, used virtual reality to reduce the cost of drilling a simulation well from $15 million to $5.4 million. Gross R&D investment of the industry's largest NOCs has exceeded that of IOCs. This signifies the drive to reduce reliance on technologies provided by IOCs and service company partners. But the challenge to convert R&D spending in Africa into long-term technology leadership persists. Investment costs are high and returns can be slow to appear. 4D seismic monitoring, for example, can add $1 per barrel or more to the cost of producing oil. Still, as the need to allocate capital to assets with the highest returns and operational efficiencies becomes more pressing, the adoption of digitalization can enable NOCs and African independents to leapfrog early stages of development and better compete in today's capital-constrained climate.